Good morning, whiskey fans. It's December the 20th. Christmas is right around the corner. And December the 20th is International Human Solidarity Day. So a day when everyone is encouraged to kind of help out our fellow man and pull together a little bit. I like that. It's a nice one. So hopefully someone has pulled together and given us a good whiskey today. Label away, break the seal. Smells okay. A little bit in the glass. Probably shouldn't have chosen a wooden table to do whiskey reviews on. So what do we think about colouring on this one? It looks pretty similar to the, the one manzanilla that we had yesterday, I think, which is probably natural colour. Doesn't look too obviously messed around with. Hmm, that actually smells better than what I smell out of the the little wax sealed uh, sample bottle. Funny that, isn't it? That whiskey would smell better out of a glass that is designed for whiskey rather than smelling it out of the wax sealed thing which stinks and has God knows what on it. It's funny how something designed for smelling whiskey in is better for smelling whiskey in. Sweet on the nose. Smells like it's probably a single malt. There's also a, a harder component to this though, but so far the nose seems a little bit simple. Definitely some malted barley gone into this. Getting a little bit of a blueberry note, sour fruitiness, which is quite nice, I like that. Not getting a huge amount of other flavours though. Let's see how it tastes. Sweet and creamy and fruity. Again with a little bit of a perfumed sort of musty fruity blueberry note. But that sweetness, I would almost bet money that this is a distilled barley spirit, malted barley, uh, aged in bourbon casks or possibly rum. Now I'm going back to the nose after tasting it, getting a little bit of sort of circulation of the aromas. I think a little bit more of that sort of sweet, creamy, honeyed caramel note coming through from what I expect this bourbon cask has come through on the nose as well. Simple though. I would say young but well made. Maybe four or five years old. Probably 46%. I like that slightly musty fruitiness, that note that I described as blueberry before, but I think my favourite part of this is just that kind of textbook, bourbonized, caramel, honey, malted barley, sweet note. I don't think there's a great deal more I can say about this one, so I think let's probably put ourselves out of our misery and have a look what we've got. Teeling. So Teeling Small Batch Irish Whiskey. So 46%, bang on the money with that one. And Teeling Small Batch, I think it's probably fair to say that it is a reasonably young but well-made whiskey. And I think, I might be wrong, but I think they use rum casks, probably bourbon and rum casks to mature that one. So cask type, bang on with that one as well. Didn't get that it was Irish. To be honest, nosing and tasting that, it came across pretty stereotypically single malt to me. 
hindsight is a wonderful thing. I'm wondering if now that I know that it is Irish, and if you guys are nosing and tasting along blind as well, did you pick out that this was Irish? And now that you know that it's Irish, are you getting those trademark Irish notes? A little bit. Perhaps a little bit of a biscuity, unmalted barley note, perhaps, but not not that obvious. Nice stuff, though. The one thing that I would say about Teething Small Batch is that it does seem... It's obviously a young whiskey, and I think it's probably a little bit overpriced for what it is, but a little dram of this out of the advent calendar is most certainly welcome. It's, uh, it's a really pleasant dram. Let me know what you thought about this one, whether you guessed correctly if you're going along blind at home, and I'll see you tomorrow. Cheers.